Quick load testing with Siege. Siege is a nice, quick and dirty way to uh, start load testing. So um, if you've got a website and uh, you think about doing a performance tweak or you want to change something up and uh, you know it's going to be slower but you don't know how much, um, Siege is a great tool to kind of do that and uh, see what you're doing. So Siege, uh, you can get it from Joe Dog. Go to joedog.org or your favorite package manager. So you can check out his website. He's definitely a back-end developer. It's a great tool. Okay, Siege, what does it do? It does HTTP gets. It does HTTP posts. It does a lot of them. Uh, it also does a few extra things um, that are really handy. It accepts and receives cookies. So um, let's say you have a login authentication on your website and you need to have a cookie. Um, see if you can take care of that. Um, and it also follows your redirects, like your 301s and your 302s. Now it's really fast because it doesn't do anything else. Siege does HTTP, but it doesn't do HTML. It does no parsing. It does not download any of your related images, your CSS, your JavaScript. Uh, if you tell it to download the HTML file or the PHP file, that's what it'll do. Um, it doesn't uh, execute any JavaScript. It doesn't spider your website and follow any links. It doesn't draw pretty graphs, and it doesn't generate pretty reports. You give it a list of URLs, and it runs them as fast as it can. Okay, so how do you get this list of URLs? Um, my favorite method is with your um, web access log. So um, you can, uh, if you've got an existing site, you can take your production um, web server log, or um, if this is a brand new site in deployment, you can crank up your browser, run through what you think would be a typical scenario, and collect that data in the log. And then you get to have some fun with regular expressions. Doesn't that look like fun? Everybody raise your hand if that looks like fun. Okay, how many of you programmed in Perl? That was your entire program looked like that, right? Okay, the Siege file format. Like I said, it's just a simple list of URLs. So um, you can put your URL with query parameters. Um, up at the top. If you've got to do a post, um, then uh, you just put the word post, and then you go ahead and uh, URL encode <coughs> your, um, your, uh, your data. You can also uh, pipe in a file too if you wanted to post up an image or something like that for testing and uploader. Um, uh, when, when you're pulling from your um, query log, from your access log, you're not going to have any of that post data in your log. So um, that's one problem with that method, is you're going to have to go back and add that post data in. So typically, when I've, when I've, done, uh, when I've uh, set up my siege test, um, usually what gets posted to me get, ends up getting dumped to my database. So I have to write some kind of script to pull, pull the data back out of the database and uh, write it back out to my test file. Siege is just a simple command line. You've got a few flags you can run. Um, the concurrency flag is probably your most important. It's how many users to uh, simulate. Um, you can do the internet, which will randomize the uh, URLs it picks. It picks a random one in a random order. Um, sometimes that's a little less fun if you've got a login and they're supposed to log in before they do certain things. But Hey, I just like to test uh, test my uh, 401 non authorized <coughs> error, so <laughs> you could do that way. Um, the benchmark is a good flag um, that tells it to run as fast as it can with no delay. Or if you want a more realistic test, you can put in a delay, which will put a random de delay between zero and however many seconds. Um, you can run it for a specific duration, which is nice if you want repeatable test results. And while you're running the test, uh, you just need to see what's happening on your system, what's, uh, what's slowing down, 
Um, so you can run top VM stat, look at SNMP graphs, and always browse your site with the web browser. Here's some pro tips. Don't go overboard on concurrency when you're starting out. Um, there's all kinds of limits you're going to run into. Uh, one is a Apache standard configuration has about 256 uh, worker threads. So if you do a concurrency over that with your benchmark, uh, you're probably going to start having connection problems pretty quickly. Um, you want to test your web server and not your DNS. Uh, one problem with Siege is that it queries the DNS for every request. <laughs> so I would recommend you put your uh, Etsy, your web server in your Etsy host file. Otherwise, you're just going to take down your office DNS and everyone's going to be mad at you. <laughs> uh, try doing multiple runs with a set duration, averaging results. And then the final, my favorite, is unplug your internet so you don't accidentally deny a service your production servers. You know, if you've got a, if you've got a um, project that's got any dependencies, calls out to databases, other websites, that's, you know, it's very easy to overlook something and uh, not realize that, oops, I really did, I forgot to change my database host and that was going to production instead or, or something like that. So. <laughs> All right, that's the uh, that's the end of the slideshow. Um, how much time do I have? Three minutes. Three minutes. Okay, we got enough time to run a quick siege. So generally, when you do a siege, um, you don't want to run it on the same computer you're testing because that's not a good test. But I've only got one computer up here, so that's what I'm going to do. All right, I've got a. Um, Amazing application, you've probably seen it before. It's called Hello World. Okay. Oh. And I can't spell, so. Alright, Hello World. It's a whole different world. <laughs> okay, and we're going to run a quick siege on Hello World. I'm just going to simulate 10 users because this is my laptop I use every day. And um, we're going to do it for 30 seconds. Run top over here. You can see that we've got all kinds of things running that shouldn't be running on a web server. All right, there it goes. Just crank it through my list, showing me how many seconds it wow. takes. And look over here at Siege. All right, top, I've got Siege taking out 44% of my CPU. And Bunch of Apache threads, and I'm pegged out. Oh, of course. Top. Come on, load it. Oh, yeah, your load's crazy. Yeah. How many cores do you have in the process? It's just a dual core. <laughs> so, yeah, that's. <laughs> okay, there we go. Actually, it's doing really bad. It's got double that speed. So, transaction rate, 587 transactions per second. Um, availability was 100%, so I got no errors, that's nice. And uh, my longest transaction was 0.37 seconds. Okay, so Hello World is not a very demanding application, it's a little determined. But I've got an optimization technique. We're going to take Hello World.php and we're going to switch it out for. Hello world static HTML. All right. So it's great, great um, performance optimization technology called static pages. All right, we're going to try that. Oops. Where's my PHP unit load test? That's something else. Okay. So we'll go ahead and run the siege with static HTML. Let's see how we do. I'm betting 1,500 requests per second. Higher, lower, any? Any bets? Something else 
running, or maybe it doesn't like uh, PowerPoint or something. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I was getting uh, a, a thousand, thousand, thousand one hundred earlier today. So, you know, um, it's real interesting. Once you start getting into this, there'll be all kinds of things like uh, MySQL optimizations, Apache tweaks. Um, It'll just, you know, there's all kinds of things that you don't expect that will pop up in your application. And so I, I highly recommend um, you using this tool. Like I say, you can take your production access um, log from your Apache web server and just pipe it in. And, uh, you know, it doesn't handle the post for you, um, but um, generally you have more gets than posts. So it gives you a good baseline and uh, kind of shows you what's really going on in your app. All right, well thank you.